three, two, one. Okay, 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 a little bit of context first. So around this time last year, I made a Kitchen Corrections episode where I critiqued the Threadbangers Multicolored Lemon episode. And I must have owned them pretty good because as of the making of this video, they haven't uploaded in eight months. While they failed to recreate the multicolored lemons, I was able to successfully do it in a computer. Unfortunately, this episode left me with a big bottle of blue food coloring in my pantry for the better part of the year. Until this episode. So, what do I plan on doing with the blue food coloring? Well, um, you know that old elementary school science project where you pour vinegar onto baking soda? And it creates this big bubbly mess. Well, we're going to do a much more cooler version of that called elephant toothpaste. Every other YouTuber seems to be doing it, and I want in on the action. Get yourself a Voss. A cheap one from Goodwill will do fine. Since I have no future need for this much blue food coloring, I'm just going to dump the whole thing. Then we'll add some dish soap. And then finally, hydrogen peroxide. Well, not just any hydrogen peroxide. Because here's the thing, the stuff you normally get at the pharmacy is 97% water, 3% hydrogen peroxide. This is 40% hydrogen peroxide. You can purchase this at hair care product salons, or I'll leave a link in the description. Finally, the catalyst. And no, it's not um, what you think it is. You see, this is potassium iodide crystals dissolved into water. And that's what's gonna give us our reactant. Okay, one headache of a mess coming up in three, two, one. Behold its slow moving ugliness. Also, the reaction is quite something, too. <laughs> you know, in hindsight, I probably should have done more research into elf and toothpaste. I don't know, maybe the food coloring diluted the potency of the hydrogen peroxide. But people tend to be a little tight-lipped about what's in elf and toothpaste. I mean, you don't want to be sitting at home googling stuff and then this happens to you. FBI, open up! Huh. Now that was quite the reaction. Let's do it again. This time it has a nozzle, so hopefully we'll get a much more vigorous reaction. Three, two, one. Ugh, the shot's out of focus. Don't worry, I have one that happens to be. Ah, uh, much better. Okay, so I wasn't exactly expecting a giant Mark Rober style reaction. In fact, I kind of feel like a wide shot was pretty pointless. But hey, welcome to the world of YouTube clickbait. Okay, I gotta clean this mess up. The dogs want their bathroom back. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ making backyard chemistry fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, and support me on Patreon. Man, the gardeners are really going to be scratching their head when they come to mow the lawn next weekend.